Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to be building out a mining rig in a very awesome, cheap mining rig frame. And we're going to teach you how to build in this thing, and we're going to show you how to save a lot of money on a quality, cheap mining rig frame. Let's stop gabbing, and let's spin that intro. Pew! Today we are going to show you the best budget mining rig frame we could find. This is the Seville Classic 3-Tier Mesh Shoe Rack in a beautiful satin pewter design. Why is this such a great setup? We're going to build it together. We're going to show you why it's such a great setup and it's running under sub $30 levels. This is runs about $26. 99 as of today we'll make sure to put links down in the description but let's stop gabbing let's put this thing together and let's get a mining rig in there and see how it works you know what time it is rgb knife engage bam So here it is, it's all put together, and what did we do? We zip tied the top, the corners, all the way because the shelving could easily slide back and forth if not, and we don't want that to dislodge, that's very important. We cooked every corner on the bottom, and we did one on the back just so it wouldn't slide those couple of inches that it actually does have a little leeway. So there's our frame, it's completed, it's built, and now let's go ahead and see how we're going to set this up with to be an actual mining rig. Let's get these things on there. Before we start building this out, the first thing you should ever always do when building a mining rig or a new computer is that you go ahead and set up the motherboard, you put in the CPU, you put in your RAM, hook up the power supply outside of the case or outside of the rig, and then you test it and make sure that you get a post. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open my motherboard, put my CPU in, put my Vitro all white beautiful RGB cooler in there, put eight gigabytes of RAM inside and hook it up to the power supply and then hook a monitor up and then we're gonna make sure that it gets post. Let's go ahead and cut to the finished product. All right, so we got the cooler in, the CPU, the RAM slotted in there and we have the power supply back there all plugged in and a power button. And let's go ahead and test this out and see if we get a post. This is the initial boot, fingers crossed. Helps if I turn the power supply on. Oh, that's better. Come on now. 
I can't get the RGB on this because this cheap BTC B250C board does not have an RGB header, an addressable RGB header. That's kind of sad. Hoping I get a post here. I'm not seeing anything on this screen. All right, it took us a few tries, but we finally booted into this nice new trendy, super outdated looking BIOS, but hey, it's up there, it's running. So now we can proceed with our build. All right, so the next thing is we're doing some fitting here to see how this is gonna fit. And I put, wanna put this so that these slots are kinda in the middle so that they'll reach the risers very easily. And then I orientated my server power supply so that the power again is in the middle to easily reach all the cards. And then my ATX power supply is gonna be hooked in the corner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip tie the motherboard down. And of course, make sure that you put some sort of insulation underneath of it you could use just simple cardboard under it you could cut a piece of foam what i like to use in these kind of things are these this is a garage tile like you pick up from lowe's and it has the interconnect ends like this but what i, I it's nice and thick too and then i'll cut these it's just like a foam rubber and it's pretty cheap to buy a four pack of them and they last a long time and you could use them on a bunch of builds and then i cut it to match the shape of this here board all the way around and then i'm just going to zip tie the corners through the motherboard down into the grating and that'll hook it down then for my server power supply i'm going to run just probably two bands up over just to hook it down here and then for the atx i'll have to figure out a way and maybe i just run zip ties over top as well We'll see, but let's go ahead and move and hook this guy in. All right, so here we are. We're all strapped in, we're all set up. There's our motherboard and our whole CPU, all that's hooked in. The motherboard's plugged into the power supply. The power supply is zip tied down to the frame. And then the server power supply is zip tied down to the frame. So now all that is left is a solid state drive. And then I can go ahead and boot up, make sure that I hit into BIOS, and then we can start adding the GPUs one at a time. Let's get in one. All right, so everything's ready. We got the SSD back here plugged in. Hard to see. Back under there is our SSD. And now we are ready to start adding our GPUs. For this build, we are going to use six 6600 XTs. We got two MSI Gaming Xs. We have two ROG Strix. And we have two Sapphire Nitros. Let's go ahead and start adding these and let you see how it looks. All right, well, GPU number one is in place. There it is. It is hanging vertically nicely on this here frame. Let's get a little better light over there. And what did we do up top? All we did was simply we hooked one zip tie, focus right here to the IO bracket. And then back here, we just simply threaded it down through and into the IO bracket. So it has a two zip ties holding this thing up in place. We have our splitter right here, and this runs back to our server power supply. And then of course our USB coming from the riser back into the motherboard, and there's number one. And then we're going to repeat the process all the way across. This cooler does stick up a little bit, so there's no way I could have put a one of the taller GPUs like the ROG Strix on there but I believe I can fit another nitro right here just fine. There's gonna be plenty of gapping on this. Let's go ahead and finish this build. All right, there she is. She's fully built out. There it is with six RX 6700 XTs. And you can see there's plenty of spacing in here to make this into eight card. You can easily fit eight cards on the shoe rack like this. The only thing I do not like is that I did not gap these very well. I should have had this one over a little bit, should have pulled this one over and made it nice and even, and my OCD will kill me. So I'm sure I'm gonna pull all of those off that are needing regap. This one will move, and then I'm gonna move this one over and shift that one over slightly, and I'm gonna make it ni look nice and pretty. And as you can see, I don't actually have them hooked into the motherboard yet. I just have it all physically built. And then up top, you can see how they're zip tied. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light down in there. And I've got two zip ties on each GPU. 
and they're just dangling and then we'll run splitters for each one one splitter should power both the card and the riser so i'll need eight total cables to run down into here and that's my total build it's gonna look good it's gonna work good it's functional and yet this thing costs like 25 bucks and it's really solid the only caveat on this thing is when you go to move it make sure that you're not wobbling too much because these things will wobble a little bit so when you're carrying this thing make sure you're not banging your gpus around that one's over against my cooler because my cooler isn't oversized but there you go there you have it it's all built out let's hop over into that outro Well, there you have it. It's all built out. This mining rig frame cost me only $25. It's a super cheap, super sturdy, economical way to build a mining rig. And make sure to check out links down in the description for all the included hardware in this build. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. 